The first step is to ensure that the home link module is installed correctly and recognized by the vehicle. To do this, select software and then select additional vehicle information and you should see a home link and then a number. If you do not see this, click the above link to install your module properly. Now that your home link module has been installed properly and you see that it shows up on additional vehicle information, it's time to program your home link module. So select the garage door looking icon and then select create home link. It's going to ask you to put a name in, um, select standard mode, and then it's going to kind of tell you what to do. You want to take your garage door opener and from when you hit continue, you have 30 seconds to exit the vehicle and then press and hold your garage door opener button until the lights blink. So right there you can see the lights blink. Once you've done that, the garage door should move, which it is, and then the car will indicate to you that it has successfully recorded the uh, frequency. Once you've trained your home link module, it's time to train your garage door opener. Uh, most garage door openers uh, have a learn button, so this is where you may need your garage door opener manual, but when you click continue, it says train the receiver. Press the learn button on your garage door, um, there you go. So I needed to open my garage door back up. I get out. I climb up on a step stool slash ladder, aka the garbage cans, and I press and hold my learn button. It turns blue, and then it turns purple. And if you have a genie, yours will do the same thing. I get back in the car, and then I select continue. And this may take up to a minute, but mine took maybe 10 seconds. And then it indicates that my new home link has been programmed. There are a couple other options here that you can select or not select. Auto fold mirrors, um, you know, auto fold temperature, that type of thing. You know, select to your own heart's desire. Uh, once you're done though, you'll see at the top there's this activate button. Go ahead and click that and it should move your garage up. And then when you click it again, it should move it back down. Congratulations, you have uh, saved yourself $175.